Hey guys, it's BNL. Welcome back to Hexen. It seems so weird, it's only a two syllable title. And it doesn't involve a number. Anyway, here we are. By the way, you can see how, if we look at the map, suddenly we have an area over there. And that's because we are in this Guardian of Ice map. Again, but we're in a different section of it. You'll constantly find yourself just coming back to older maps, but you'll be in new sections. <laughs> I was about to say whoop and then I had the buff, so I was like, yeah, do the buff. Um, yeah, this game involves a lot of press switches. Figure out what happens. That one's got a thing on it, so I'll go over there. Um, yeah, this game isn't as scary as, as, um, Doom. Doom is kind of scary, actually. Just because, uh, oh, snap, this, this place. That place. That one little area. It's a trap, it fires things at you. Uh, I want to take out these guys first. There's a guy down there. Don't worry, those guys, those standard enemies that you see down there, oh snap. Uh, those standard enemies that you see down there, they don't do anything, so don't worry. Also, ice physics. <laughs> first thing you do, ice physics. <laughs> oh good, we have little platforms just to help me back down. You don't want to fall, by the way. Or do you? Actually, you can go down there. It's just you don't want to fall because it's fall damage. Um. Okay. Get ready. Ah, we're in this. Oh, gosh. Um, see so ya. Yeah. Uh, what else? I forgot to look up what's the differences between this and the N64 version. Uh... Yeah. Doom wasn't actually released on N64, kinda weird. There was, there was an N64 version, which is actually an exclusive version, which... It's kinda bad for... Oh, yeah. It's kinda bad for, uh... Um people who want to play it. I believe someone has made a modification that does work on the Doom engine, but still doesn't open. Still doesn't open. Huh. Guy there. Oh, you see these thing guys? Now I get to go up this way. Oh gosh, I think I remember this. This is heck difficult. Look at that. It's going like, oh, that's okay. I was like, oh, and then it's like, wait, they keep moving? It's like, oh no, they just stopped right, right then. So you're thinking, okay, well, it'll finish. So you go over here, uh, bouncing off the walls all over the place. So you're like, hmm, how do I grab that? You're, you always hear, like, weird earthquakes. Also, if you see that the text is a little bit different. That's supposed to be for something later, I believe. In fact, all the time when you see that the texture is a little bit different, that's because there's something off of that. Okay, maybe you don't have to go here just yet. Usually you'll find yourself going to a place, not really needing to go there. Yeah, I think you're supposed to go here, actually, first. Um... Since we got this thing, I'll pop it in there. That spawns a lot of lava between these guys. Kind of trapped in there. Uh, and that thing lowers. Looks kind of funky. Which is good. Now we got the fire key, which means if we go in here. We'll come out here, and then we should go into this door. I think it was here. No, it wasn't this. It wasn't this one. Also, by the way, if you see at the top. It says where my save data is automatically saved. Thank you, GZ Doom. Appreciate it. Um, I believe in actual Doom, it should reset. Oh yeah, because a bunch of guys spawned. Um, don't want to fall now. By the way, yeah. Um, in the original, in fact, in this game as well. In this, in this engine. It doesn't really handle 3D perfectly well. When you're looking flat, 
flat and zero degrees, like parallel to the floor. It looks perfect. It looks great. Then, in, for example, Z Doom, where it's still software rendered, it allows you to look up, and that's when you see uh, the tricks of the engine. The engine uses perspective from the user's location in order to simulate 3D. And it works fine when you look flat forward. When you look up, it doesn't work fine. And unfortunately for, uh, for Wolfenstein in mind, the, it didn't really matter that much because Wolfenstein was entirely flat. Uh, oh snap. Melts and everything. Uh, but when you look at games such as, um, such as Doom, and in fact this game, this game deals with a lot of 3D as jumping. As jumping in a, in a game that doesn't actually render 3D well. It's this very claustrophobic environment we've got going on here. You see a lot of these things on the wall, and you're thinking, oh, what's going on with them? But, nah, nothing. Uh, also, yeah, always check your map because the Doom engine uh, doesn't handle. Firstly, it doesn't handle curved surfaces, although Z Doom allows that to happen. Um, also, the engine doesn't allow uh, overlapping sections, which unfortunately Z Doom can't fix. That's just that's just an inherent problem with the engine. In 1993, I was like, "I'll stuff that. We can do whatever we want." Ah, ah. Gosh. Stairs have risen on the seven portals. Turn that thing up, you magically come back here. Also, a bunch of these things appear. Also, by the way, this isn't even a section I've been into. It's, it's a door that opens. Yeah, so yeah, we're constantly doing stuff in all of these rooms and in all of these different maps, even. And they're activating things in the rest of the, the game. It doesn't. Act the game isn't one big hub, it's just, uh, you could consider it being five extremely large levels. And they use the levels not only to separate areas, but also the ragged skin braces. I don't actually know what some of these items do, I just know that they're kind of required to beat the game. But I don't really know, like, what these dragon skin braces do or whatever. Also, so yeah, if you keep going up these, you'll find a bunch of items. Door open on the Guardian of Ice, all that fun stuff. Uh, that's dead and not yet, so. So now we've only got a bunch of things, and you may be going, Where do I go now? Well, I'm gonna be going over here because I believe we just opened this door, so therefore this will take us to a new area. AKA, it'll take us pointlessly a couple of couple of meters down in the Guardian of Fire. This is not the Guardian of Stone and Fire. Believe me, you wouldn't like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting game. Um, you may be wondering, you went down one way, you didn't go the other. Uh... See, one thing is that with this game is that, especially, you will not want to be really going back to the standard weapon if you're the fighter. Because the fighter's standard weapon is just as strong as his first weapon, and when he runs out of ammo for his first weapon, he just deals half as much damage, which is the same amount of damage as the fist anyway, so... Yeah. I still don't know what the mage does for his weapon. I believe I just went to and... Eh. Apparently there's a doorway here. Also, apparently the map says there's something in there, and I actually played a very nice port of Wolfenstein to this, to the actual Doom engine, because Wolfenstein was a bit of a mess, but someone actually nicely ported the entire thing over, including all the enemies and the graphics and whatnot, and all the music, so it looked and it played like Doom. It controlled like Doom, it didn't control like thing, which allowed you to strafe and turn, but Wolfenstein didn't have that. Um... I guess I'm just gonna have to go here. Uh, you'll find me kind of wandering around slightly a lot of the time. 
That's just me. So I think we gotta go right here again. Did I talk about the items? I I said that this one uh, was a bomb. I may as well experiment it right there. Does that, and in that smoke, it will hurt enemies and stuff. It also hurt you, so it's kind of risky. This purple one heals 25 health, but it doesn't automatically do this. So you've got to make sure you manually do this yourself. Okay, so a door open here, but where? Eyes are a little bit blue there. Like, not this kind of pale blue that they're using for the ice, but like actual blue. Ah, here it is. Again, don't want to fall. Oh gosh. Okay, took him out. Go around. Good job for me. Completely walked past it. Uh, the other door didn't open that. Uh, so yeah. Um, now as the other items, I believe one of them warps you to the beginning of... I think that this one warps you to the beginning of like where you spawned in the, in the map. Quite a few of them were just taken straight from Heretic, which had a completely different structure, and that's why... Like, for example, you know, warp you to the beginning of the map. Like, there's not too much point of that. Heretic actually had an item that allowed you to fly, which is pretty awesome. There you go, I actually jumped it. Flip the switch, jump it again, there you go. Portal appeared. Portal, where will the portal take us? Take us over here, to the Guardian Fire. Ah! Oh, that was it. See you kids next time. <laughs> See a lot of these flying guys. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, good, good. Did you see that? Did you, did you see, did you guys see that? The wall killed me. Yeah, you see how there's a different texture on the wall? Hold on, I'm gonna run it. There you go. Yeah, thank you, game. Appreciate it. Yeah, jump over here. Yes, jumping is in the game. If you played Doom but not Hex, then you'd be going, Oh, why are you jumping? Ah. Half of the puzzle? So he keeps telling you that you've solved... It's like you solved a third, you solved half. It's like, dude, what, what does it mean? Because they don't actually differentiate the different... I swear you exit this place somehow. Yeah, maybe that's why. Um, and I don't differentiate the difference between the actual puzzles. Oh, I did open the door. Okay, so I guess we just kind of walk out. There you go. I think we've actually done this place, but you do see the, they don't really measure secrets, mainly because you can't actually measure the secrets. In fact, there's no, unlike the end of Hexen, or uh, unlike the end of levels in Hexen, uh, Heretic or Doom, unlike those, where it tells you how long you took and did you get all the secrets and whatnot, instead of telling you that, the game just kind of keeps on going. So that's why I have a nice little time there, because not only does it tell you how long you spent in each map, it also tells you how long you spent in each hub and even how long you spent in the entire game. Um, there's always conjoining level as well. So that first level that we went into, that was a nice little conjoining level. Still haven't opened that, so I'm guessing we gotta go into the Guardian of... The other one. I can't remember which door it was, so I definitely know each one of these. Was it... Was it this one? Nope, that was exactly where I went into. Um... Must have been the other one kind of find yourself doing this, you'll be going like, okay, which way do I go? So yeah, I don't like the Guardian of Steel. It's alloying! Uh, pun, pun, pun. Get it? Because instead of annoying, it's alloying. 
more specifically alloy, because it's steel, and steel isn't actually an element. Then again, fire isn't an element, but hey. Oh snap, I don't have the steel key. I think we got trapped if we don't have the steel key, okay. Um, what did I do in the fight? Oh gosh, why are they going down here? Okay, so it did one half of the puzzle, but, huh. It's not really that puzzling this game, it's just more so figuring out where you gotta go. Also, did you see it say Ether will travel there for a, for a split second? The game does that. That's what, instead of the Doom Wipe effect, that's what it uses to say. It uses to say Ether will travel and you'd appear in the next location. But because of modern day hardware and stuff, that becomes almost, almost instantaneous. And also the reason why it does the Doom Wipe is because of GZ Doom. Thank you, GZ Doom. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. I'm in this place. I definitely know I'm missing some things. Maybe if I had activated that one. Um, I'm kind of pushing it on time, so I have to end it off kind of soon. So yeah, these hubs will take a good hour or so. You could probably beat the game in about five or so hours, which is good because I kind of need a lengthier game to play. A lot of the games I've been playing sit around four hours, which is kind of weird. I swear I'm not planning it, it just magically happened to get for us. Yeah, you'll see me looking at the map, and the reason why I use the overlay is so I don't entirely break the immersion, because usually... Usually the map just goes to like a completely different screen instead of overlaying nicely like this. Thank you, Zed Doom. Actually, Zed Doom did most of the stuff. Zed Doom just ported it over. Okay, so that was kind of pointless. Still kind of going there. I am feeling kind of tired. It's a Sunday. It's 4:15. I haven't had lunch. Don't know why. I swear, that thing oh is supposed to go down. So I can grab it. That's a steel key right there. So it's also always good to kind of check your surroundings, see what are you missing, rather than what, where can I go? Although do both, do both actually, both is good. So if I go in here, I can definitely see. That was lava for a second. I don't know where it went, but okay. Um. So I definitely know I can't do anything here. You'll see, you'll see me looking at my map all the time. Uh, by the way, you also see kind of like these uh, side sections. You may be going, why aren't you looking in here? Well, actually, I have no clue what's with these little side part, side rooms, especially like... I definitely know you go in here at some point. You go in here, because you can see there's probably an item in there or something. Uh, but you don't go into these those side rooms of the waterfalls. Um, see, so looking at my map, this door, that door probably would would lead me to a completely different place. You can't reactivate things, by the way, sometimes. Sometimes, it depends on the switch. Uh, hmm. Absolutely stumped. Well, we'll keep wandering around next time on Hexen. I'll see you kids then. Key. Can't find the home key.